up, gear mortals? Trey Xavier here. Welcome to the inaugural episode of The Month in Gear. So you're wondering what the hell is The Month in Gear? Well, in any given month, there is a ton of new gear that comes out. There's always new and exciting things on the horizon. We've got new pedals all coming out all the time, new plugins, new small accessories, little pieces of gear, stuff that for whatever reason, I'm not gonna do a complete video on. Maybe uh, I just don't have the time to do a full on review or some kind of feature on it. Maybe it just doesn't need a whole video. And so what I decided to do is kind of a little compilation of as much of the new stuff that comes out as I can fit into a reasonable period of time, giving each one just a little window to bring it to your attention, give you a couple sounds that it can make, a couple things that it can do. I might just go through a couple presets if it's a plug-in, or just a couple sounds out of like a pedal, and not a complete whole thing, but just enough to bring it to your attention and show you what it's all about. So everything that we're gonna be taking a look at today, there are links in the description where you can check it out more, get some more information, buy one if you like it. We're gonna play a little bit loosey-goosey on this series. You know, I'm not gonna stress too much about things like continuity. Maybe I'm gonna shoot some of it today. Maybe I'll shoot some of it tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Well, here we go. First thing that we're gonna take a look at is some plugins. Amplitude from IK Multimedia is something that I've used for a very long time in various and sundry different ways. And they recently came out with the Joe Satriani collection for Amplitude 4. And it's got a bunch of different presets that are just sounds from his albums, like sounds from uh, songs that he's put out. Let's see what we got. All right, we're gonna start with the Always With Me, Always With You preset because I can like kind of sort of play the song. <laughs> Sounds like it to me, pretty much perfect. Um, yeah, it's got this uh, it's kind of Rocktron, Rockman, Rocktron, Rockman. It's got a Rockman, it's a Rockman. Uh, amp, I guess that's probably what he used on the track. It's called Boston, <laughs> that's funny. Spoiler alert, I can't play any other Joe Satriani songs. Borg Sex is from the other album that I spent a lot of time listening to. <laughs> It had a lot of really wild sounds on it because that was kind of his like EDM album. Um, so, I mean, that sounds like it came from that album. I don't remember specifically. And then let's grab Satch Boogie. Once again, cannot play the Satch Boogie. Actually never even tried to learn, but I got something that was like kind of sort of inspired by it, so I'll play that. <laughs> So there you have it, it sounds like Satch. I don't know what else to say, like these things sound like Satriani pretty much instantaneously. It's not gonna make you play like him, so, well, I mean, it's not, as you can see, but uh, if you want instant Satriani tones without a bunch of tone chasing, I mean, this seems like a pretty damn good option. Recently on the Gear Gods Excessive Nerd Shit podcast, I was able to interview the one, the only, CLA, Chris Lord Algae, and I asked him about a lot of different stuff, but most of what we talked about was the STL tones, tonality, Howard Benson, CLA, and Mike Plotnikoff trilogy edition of the Benson plugin, and uh, basically what he contributed was a set of presets, and most of them were uh, from albums that he had done. So, because of that, next up we have the CLA presets for the STL Tonality plugin. So the first one, I'm gonna do the Roach Fuzz Guitar. I never played that riff before in my life. I'm sure that that was not the album that this sound was from. Now we got some In Flames. In Flames was my shit for a very long time, so I'm excited to see how these sound. Wait, 
Well, obviously, it's not going to sound like vintage in flames because CLA has done only very modern, the most recent, in fact, in flames album. So, you know, if you're expecting it to sound like that, uh, you will be woefully mistaken. But still sounds pretty awesome to me. What else we got? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good In Flames lead sound. Um, this I'm excited about. So all of these sounds and more in the CLA presets for the STL, Tonality, Howard Benson, CLA, and Mike Plotnikoff trilogy edition of the Howard Benson plugin from STL Tones. Very cool plugin, I enjoy it quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna have to pull out the Strat for this next one because next up is the Corey Wong amp from Neural DSP. Now, everything Neural DSP has put out is pretty incredible, um, but it's all been mostly prog, metal kind of stuff. Corey Wong, of course, more of a funk guy. So this should be pretty interesting. A lot of clean tones in here from what I understand. Um, not a lot of shreddy stuff, but I guess we're gonna find out. Now I am pretty far from Mr. Funk, but I, I'm of the understanding that if you put it on position two or four on your Strat, you could approximate a pretty funky sound right out of the gate, so let's try it. Sounds pretty funky to me. That's the Disco Ulysses preset. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, really clean, extremely clean. Oh, but there's there's a little button that says drive. Let's see. Ooh, oh, hello. Definitely kind of a, a bluesy. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Looks like we've got three different amp models in here. DI Funk console, which uh, I assume is just going straight into a console, but they made it look like an amp. Um, and then the clean machine and the amp snob. Some effects pedals, actually uh, two different rows of effects pedals. These are like drive and compression, and then there's delay and reverb, and an EQ, and of course the famous Neural DSP IR system for cabs, which is kind of bonkers, um, and then uh, three different cabs to choose from. And there's a wah pedal. How do they, how do you do that? Oh, oh, it moves! Oh, bro. Fun. I presume there's a way that you can hook up a MIDI wah pe uh, like expression pedal so that you can play it not with your fingers, but um, either way, awesome. It sounds good too. Up next, we have a couple new sample libraries. So I love sample libraries so much because they can be anything. And all you need is some kind of a MIDI controller. Really, you don't even need that because you can just go in and click notes into the piano roll if you like. But I hope that you are prepared for some seriously atrocious keyboard playing from me, because this is not my instrument, but it's a gateway to getting awesome sounds out of this stuff. So I'm gonna just dink around a little bit. This first one is Easy Keys from TuneTrack Hybrid Harp. I don't actually know what it is, and looking at this picture doesn't really even help that much because there is a harp in there, and then there's what I think is a, like a nickel harpa, and then there's like a, like a bellows some birds, and a keyboard. Um, so who knows what it's actually gonna sound like, but as always, there's only one way to find out. That one's just called Harp Space. Nickel Harpa Space. That's a cool sound.
It's pretty. I like that a lot. This one's called Flowing. Oh, hello. I've died and gone to heaven. And this is the sound the angels make. Hey! Good job, Trey. You literally played chords in C major. Give yourself a pat on the back too soon. That's a beautiful sound. I have no idea what it is, but who cares? It's nice. So these are all like layers of a couple of different atmospheric, nice, pretty instruments. That one just kind of keeps going. All right, we got some distorted ones, distorted melody. Cabin feel? This one's called Ocarina Dirt. Vinyl strings. That's pretty cool. Chord harp. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Lovely, Nickel Harpa Harmonium Blend. Oh, I love that. That's a, a video game, it takes place in a little tiny village, little guy running around, solving puzzles, helping people. This is a fun sound. This is, this is, this is happiness to me. Well, once again, ToonTrack has created something that I didn't know that I needed and wanted, and I'm not sure that I can really tell you what it is, but I love it. Uh, so, Easy Keys Hybrid Harp, check it out. SoundIron is a company that makes sample libraries and goes where others do not dare. Uh, if you've seen my video on this topic, um, they make stuff like the a fart sample library called Flatulous. It's just a bunch of farts. It's exactly what it sounds like. It brought a great deal of joy to my life, and I'm sure that this next one will too. This is Didgeridoos, because I love ripping Didge. Honestly, the appeal of the didgeridoo as an instrument in general eludes me a little bit. I think it's kind of weird. It's, it's fucking weird, right? It sounds like a region. They're not really like pitched. It's more like a percussion instrument, I think. So they've kind of got like different vowel sounds in here. and then some beatbox. So like the point of a sample library, instead of using the real thing, of course, 
serves a couple different purposes. Number one, I don't own a didgeridoo and won't buy one anytime soon, but also because you can do stuff that you can't actually do on the real instrument. You know, you can't really do whatever the hell I just did, nor would you necessarily want to, but um, you know, if you're trying to find wild new sounds, this is the best way to do it. Like that's a super cool sound. I, I don't really necessarily know what to do with it, but now I know that it exists and maybe I'll use it someplace. What are some other cool sounds? Then we got some effects. That one sounded like R2-D2. It's a weird instrument, man. I think it's... <laughs> I think this is an instrument that has kind of limited usage, but it's it's weird and cool and inter interesting, so sure. If you need a really realistic sounding cool didgeridoo, Sound Iron's got you covered. All right, let's take a look at some pedals. Up first is the Source Audio C4 synth. Not really necessarily new, but it's new to me, and I think it is cool as shit. Check this out. Gotta turn the guitar on. It tracks super well. So there's a ton of different things that you can do with this in the editor. We're not gonna worry about any of that right now. I'm just gonna be messing around with the controls that are on the face of it for these presets. Add a little bit of gain and some delay and stuff. I love putting octave on anything. It makes it sound like you really, really intended to play what you played. You can use the mix knob to blend as much or as little of the original guitar signal in with the synth as you like. Here's like 50%. And then here's 100%. That is so cool. I could jam on this all day easy. Easy lose a whole day to this. We're really just scratching the surface of what this pedal can do, but honestly, if that's all it did, it would still be worth whatever they're asking in my book. This is fun as hell. It looks great, great design. Um, and there's a lot, a lot more that it can do that we are not getting it into today. Up next, we have the highly anticipated Eros pedal from KSR Amps. So I've got it plugged into the front of the Rocker 15 Terror from Orange because the Rocker 15 is an amp that needs a lot of help if you're gonna get some modern, tight sounds out of it because it has a huge bottom end, as most oranges do. Here's what it sounds like 
without anything in front of it at all, just the guitar straight in. <laughs> with the patented Trey Xavier amp test riff. So, sounds, you know, pretty good. That's with the gain all the way up. If that's your jam, cool. But we want something modern, tight, hot. So, let's try the Eros. <laughs> Instantly far more chug friendly, okay? Um, let's turn the level up all the way. Let's turn the gain up just a smidge. Mean, 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 mean. And then let's try the thick setting. Now we're gonna go to the tight setting. So this is gonna be really good, for example, if we're gonna use this low eighth string here. Let's go to the dirt mood. Once again, this is what we're starting with. I consider that to be a drastic improvement. Cool. So if this is what the Eros was able to do to the orange Doom machine, then what do you think it's going to do to your dual rectifier or your 5150? I can only imagine, because I don't own either of those amps, but I'm sure that it would be even sicker than this. For the last new gear of the month, let's check out a plugin that will cost you exactly nothing. You can get yourself Valhalla Supermassive for the low, low price of free 50 free. It is, as you might imagine from the name, a delay and reverb plugin meant to be just huge reverbs and delays. So let's check out just a few sounds that you can get out of Valhalla Supermassive. So there's different modes, that's Gemini, Hydra, Great Annihilator. Andromeda. Oh, hello. We've got Lyra. It's more than just Italy's currency, and then Capricorn. Very nice. Let's just check out a couple of reverbs. Let's go to massive, fuck it. Benson, Arizona. There's gotta be something there. This one's called 60% of infinity, which is a little scary, because that's a lot. That really is super massive as advertised.
forever verb. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna regret this, but oh well. Just kinda keeps going. See what Dark Horse has in store for us. I don't know where that is, but I want to live there. So that's it for this month, you guys. Thanks for watching the very first episode of the month in gear. I'm going to try to do it, of course, every month. And I want to know what you guys want to see on here. And I need you to help me keep updated on the new stuff that's coming out. So if you think of anything, pedals, especially plugins, especially stuff that's free, sample libraries, accessories, any little things, maybe stuff that wouldn't warrant doing a whole video on just this one thing. If you hear about something or you think of something that might be good for this, leave a comment in the comment section telling me what it is and I'll try to get it for next month's episode. There are links to where you can pick up all of these different things in the description below. Thank you as always so much for watching. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button, smack the bell to join the notification squad. <laughs> Drop me a like and leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think of the new format the month in gear, I want to know, and I'll see you real soon.